What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you another WWE replica side plate unboxing and review. This time round it is for The Fiend Bray Wyatt. Now if you guys haven't watched many of my side plate reviews, first of all go and check them out. The links to all of them are in the description down below. Uh, yeah, basically all I'm going to be doing is opening up this box, showing you guys the side plates. I'll put them on my replica Blue Universal and uh, WWE Championship, then do a time lapse and you know just basically give you my thoughts and opinions. Anyway, without further ado, let's flip the camera around and review these side plates. Okay guys, so here we have the Fiend Bray Wyatt's side plates in box. Now, all of the side plate boxes are basically the same other than the image on the top, which obviously shows which side plates they are. They're all in this little like chest looking box, uh, just with this single latch right there. Uh, if I quickly show you the side, you know, it's just, it's just a normal box. The only difference thing is on the bottom where it says WWE Shop and then the barcode or whatever. But yeah, if we lift this up, as you can see on the inside, are the Fiend Bray Wyatt's side plates. And there they are. These are awesome. I'm a big fan of these. I was a massive fan the moment I saw them on WWE uh, TV back in 2019. These side plates have been featured on the championship twice. They were on the Red Universal Championship when Bray first won it. Uh, literally only for one segment where he turned the Red Universal title into the blue Universal title. When Bray Wyatt won the Universal Championship at SummerSlam at 2020, he used different side plates for that one week run that said hurt and heal. They are alternative side plates that The Fiend did use, but in my opinion, these are the better option. Now, if we look at the box, we've got this like faux suede material. It's like a foamy suede material. Lifting up on one of the side plates, we'll take it out and get a better look. These things are a fingerprint magnet. If I do this, you can see there's the fingerprint. Now they are also freezing cold. Uh, as you can see, there's loads of condensation on the back. But other than that, it's just a normal side plate. We've got the outer gold, which obviously blends in with the belt, and then the superstars logo uh, or name normally, but logo in this case, smack bang center in the middle. And I love it. It is obviously meant to be the fiend's head, hair, and face, and that looks Awesome. So that's my first little look at the side plates done. How about let's move over to the bed and we will put them on my blue universal championship. Let's do it. Moving over to the bed, you can see we have my custom blue universal championship, which is just a normal 2014 WWE title with a blue strap. So what we're going to do, these obviously have my Jeff Hardy side plates on from my last video. We're going to quickly flip this thing over and do a time lapse whilst I put on the Fiend Bray Wyatt's side plates. Let's do it. And here we are the Fiend Bray Wyatt side plates on my custom blue Universal Championship. Now I've gone on record already loads of times saying that I am not a massive fan of the black background side plates on the blue Universal Championship, just mainly due to the fact that there isn't that much black paint on this belt other than the backing of this writing World Heavyweight Championship banner right there. There isn't a lot of black, but I think because this side plate has a lot of gold on it, more than normal because it's a design and not just a name, I think it really pops more on the blue strap and it really does stand out. So I'm gonna go out now and say that probably this is one of the reasons, there is a couple that I will discuss, I think that these are my favourite black background side plates to be featured on the Blue Universal Championship. I also think they hold a significant spot in my heart, really, uh, just due to the fact that these side plates were the first set of plates we ever saw on the Blue Universal Championship. When this belt debuted, they standard had these side plates on. So I think, you know, just being the first also, you know, it, it makes it a bit more special. But anyway, that's what they look like on my custom Blue Universal Championship. They blend in nicely. I love the Fiend face design. I think it looks really good. It pops a lot against the blue background, uh, which is something that I can't say for other side plates. The other side plates that are the best for this one, though, in my opinion, are the Brock Lesnar side plates. I think the Brock Lesnar plates on the Blue Universal look amazing just because they match this red. But yeah, I'm getting off track. How about we switch this belt over to the WWE Championship, which I think is going to look a lot better. And uh, yeah, let's put the Fiend Bray Wyatt side plates on the WWE Championship in three, 
two, one. Here is the WWE Replica Championship 2014 version with the Bray Wyatt Fiend side plates. Now, Bray himself has actually held this version of the WWE Championship. He won it back in 2017. However, at that time, the Fiend wasn't a thing. So instead, he had different side plates, making him have three sets of side plates. The original Bray Wyatt ones, the Fiend Bray Wyatt ones, and then the alternate second pair of Fiend Bray Wyatt ones. But this is what they look like, and I think they look so much better on the WWE Championship than they did on the Blue Universal Championship. And that's because the Fiend's colour scheme is mainly black and red anyway, so having a black and gold belt with a red swoosh just makes it look better. I always thought it was a bit weird that you had a black and red character uh, with the red lighting and with everything like that, having a blue championship. I suppose that's why they brought in the Fiendiversal title. But yeah, these just look so cool. And it's um, it's making me really wish that we actually got this instead. I wish Bray Wyatt would have had the WWE Championship instead of the Universal Championship. But, you know, it is what it is. Maybe one day we will see the return of The Fiend and this can happen. But anyway, there you go. What do you guys think of The Fiend Bray Wyatt side plates? Do you have a pair? I want to know in the comment section down below. But without further ado, let's do the outro for this video as I don't think there is any more else I can say about these side plates. Let's go. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was my review of the official Fiend Bray Wyatt Championship Replica side plates. Now, unfortunately, guys, I'm actually doing the outro to this video a lot later than I did the rest of the video. I completely forgot I made this video. It completely slipped my mind, which means, unfortunately, you can no longer buy these championship side plates on WWE Shop or on WWE Euro Shop. They are discontinued. If you want a pair of your own, you are going to have to buy them from a second-hand retailer such as eBay or Facebook Marketplace or something like that. But all of Bray's side plates, the original Bray ones, the Fiend ones, and the Hurt Heel Fiend ones are all gone. You cannot buy them anymore, which is unfortunate, but we all knew it was going to happen. But there you go. Let me know your thoughts on the video. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.